So where are we going? A water park. Okay, this place is called Pamangutta. Nine to ten kilometers away. We used to come here when we were kids. We can't go out anywhere because it's been raining for two hundred and fifty days. You can't swim in a water park. You need good feet to go to the water park first. Yeah, this is a horse patch. Horse patch one hundred. It's not a easy, you know. These are mostly teak trees. It's a plant of the forest, but this is a bridge. It's called Kamangutu Bridge. See the water park. Oh, water park. Oh, oh, oh. I thought we were going up here. Ouch. So much water. It's been raining all these days and all the water is here. Now we are turned right. Look at the hills on top. Okay, we have reached. There seems to be a few uh, buses and a few cars. Oh yeah, it doesn't look like it should be here. Definitely does not. It's okay. It's okay. So I, I was, I was walking across here, and I slipped and I fell, and I got hurt. And then Jacob came to rescue me, and he also fell. And he also got hurt. <laughs> but we are both okay, no? Yeah. So behind me is the main waterfall at the entry point, and uh, we used to come here uh, when we were small. Now what they've done is they have closed off this area, and they've created an entry point over there. So we have to enter through there now. So it just started uh, raining. Uh, we had to take a ticket. So the ticket came up to around 60 rupees for me and Jacob. And now we are just walking along the track that goes up the waterfall. It looks very slippery, and after having one move, one fall already. We don't want to fall again, do we? No. Oh, this is that rock. But it. So, this is the, the water that feeds the waterfall. And we're walking on a track that's parallel to the, uh, the stream that goes uphill. And, uh, there's supposed to be seven waterfalls along the way uphill, but they're quite far off. We won't be able to see all of them. You can go to the next waterfall. And we're actually going through the forest. Look at these rocks all along the way. Huge boulders. That, that one looks like it's going to fall on us. <laughs> and hopefully it stops raining soon. Oh, look at that. Bird. Oh, Small bird. It's like that. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. But okay, it's... So, oh, this place is very dangerous. Oh. A lot of people have come here, got into the water, and got swept away by the water and died. This is the place that we normally stop at first time while we're going up. So, right now it's full of water, but this is normally the place that we stop. It's 
see one big tree is fallen down here. Into the water. Look, there's a tree house. Can you climb? Unfortunately, it's blocked. Why can't you go? It's too dangerous, I guess. It might break and fall down. <laughs> fall down. Yeah. Look, the place is broken. Oops. Oh. <laughs> All along the trail there are these forest department posts uh, with uh, forest department staff along the way who monitor that the place is kept clean and also that uh, people are safe and don't get into the water. We soon reached the point where we had to divert off the main uh, trekking track to reach the second waterfall. First one, as you remember, is right at the beginning. And this is the second uh, waterfall. It's a short uh, diversion to the right. So this is the second waterfall. This is actually called Eirnalakutta. It means if the waterfall here is supposed to fall in seven layers. Can you see that? Yeah, no. You can see it's falling in layers, no? Oh, yeah. There's supposed to be seven layers there. I'm not sure if that's true, but maybe yeah, the water. There's seven, there's seven. Yeah, you counted seven. Yeah. Oh. Two are big, uh, or the others are small. Ah. As I mentioned earlier, the waters here are quite treacherous. It's not a good idea to get inside uh, the water because uh, uh, of the force of the water, especially in the rainy season. Uh, as well as the fact that the rocks can be slippery with algae uh, and uh, waters can cover hidden uh, trenches or holes where you are not familiar with uh, and it can result in accidents. So it's better just to uh, play along the edges and maybe wet your feet. From where we were sitting, we could spot a tree house uh, overlooking the top of the waterfall. So we thought we'd uh, continue along the track and just check that out. Now, unfortunately, uh, that tree house also was blocked off. I guess the rains uh, here have kind of resulted in everything uh, rotting and uh, falling apart so it's not safe to step on these uh, as it could easily give way. But you do get a spectacular view from here and you can continue further up ahead uh, but owing to the rains we decided to turn back. So it's time to head back now. It's time to go back. Now we'll turn back on the way we came. Which is like this way. Yeah. 
So we're going to go down. So there's a shop there. We'll have maybe we'll have tea or lime juice or maybe biscuit. And then we'll head back. Yeah. I feel like we're going to get another fall. Yeah, I'm. I'm really glad we could come to this waterfall. We wanted to come here and bring Jacob along for a long mm -hmm. time. Can you hear the waterfall? It sounds like it's heavily raining. Oh, can you hear the thunder? Yeah. But then, one day... So we're done, finally out of here. Have special equipment, ropes and cables are